Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how I make my low carb, healthy, homemade pita pizzas. Let's get into it. All you need is pita bread, pizza sauce, cheese of course, pepperoni, mushrooms, and green peppers. My pizza tray. If you don't have a pizza tray, you can use any tray. I actually got this one from the dollar store. Gonna put a little bit of tin foil on the tray. So I just lined the tray with some tin foil because I feel like it makes for easier cleanup. I'm gonna preheat the oven. I just started preheating the oven to 375. I'm gonna get out a pita bread. on my pizza tray. Then I'm gonna use my pizza sauce. You can use any pizza sauce. I just happen to like the one that has garlic and basil added to it. I just feel like it's a little more rich. And I like to get a spoon to help spread the sauce out. So I'm just gonna grab one. Okay, now we're just gonna add some cheese, mozzarella, of course. I'm gonna get out my grater. It's my dog yawning. I got thirsty. A little sparkling water. Okay. And hydrate it. So I just grabbed a cutting board. Now we gotta chop up our mushrooms and our green peppers. Get those pesky seeds out of there. Oh, the oven is now preheated. All right, so that looks like a good amount. So I just finished chopping the mushrooms and the green peppers and the oven is now preheated. So let's just go ahead and sprinkle these on the pizza. My dog has just meandered her way over here because she knows that the cheese has come out. Phoenix is a little cheese monster. Are you a cheese monster, boo boo? Okay, so now I have the mushrooms and the green peppers on here. I just have to put the pepperoni on, but Phoenix knows that there's cheese up here. And she's lingering like a little shark. Come on, you little cheesemonger. <laughs> Is that good? Here's a good one. She says it's good. All right, let's put the pepperoni on. I like these pepperonis because they're the cup and char ones and they crisp up real nice. I like to keep the pepperoni on top uh, so that they get maximum exposure to the oven elements to ensure that nice crisp curl on the pepperonis. So I just finished putting all the pepperonis on there. I gotta stick it in the oven. Okay, 
And now we wait. All right, guys, so it's been about 15 minutes and the pizza is done. So let's get it in the oven, let it rest for a few seconds, and then we'll slice it up. Doesn't that look good? Nice and crisp. All right, and there you have it. A lovely home-cooked, low-carb pita pizza in the comfort of your own home. Look at how gooey it is. Mmm. So good. All right, guys. If you tried this recipe at home, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought. And if you like this video, make sure you subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and I will see you next time.